how to create a custom pop-up subscription button on your Shopify. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step how to get this done. Now, there are going to be different ways you could, you know, achieve this. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the one that I find to be the best for beginners. If you're just starting out with this, uh, yes, it does. I mean, it, it could be for free. It really depends on your site and we will talk about it more. Once we actually get there and I will show you the plans that are available, including the free one. So all you need to do now is just go ahead and open up a new browser tab. Just keep your Shopify open and just open up a new browser tab. And then you just want to go to this site, which is elfsite.com. Site as in, you know, iVision site. Uh, so elfsite.com and then just hit enter. And this is pretty much where you want to go here. You can just go ahead and create an account for free. Just enter your email and start, and it's going to be for free. Uh, this website does offer a lot of widgets, and if you are if you want to use, I mean, the free version does allow you to use one widget for free, and if you want to add more from the same widget, you will need to subscribe. And also, there's more things to it, not only that. Uh, but just go ahead and create an account, and then just go ahead and uh, log in. In my case, I'm just going to open up my account. And then I just want to go to the catalog section and from the catalogs or add apps or whatever you want to go. You basically want to search for pop up and there is going to be this one right here with just the pop up widget. So just go ahead and click on that one and then we can just go ahead and create it and customize it to our liking. So the first thing is going to be locating a proper template that is going to work well with uh, what we want. And I believe newsletter subscribe template is going to work well. So I'm just going to use this one. So just go ahead and select it, the one that you actually want, and then just click on continue with this template. Now, don't worry, you can feel free to customize it to your liking, um, like completely. So you can actually go ahead and change this to a gradient, for example, and so on. So I'm just going to go for this one. Uh, and let's just stick with that one for the time being. Click on done. And the image is the orange one. So if you want to replace the image, feel free to do so. Just click on here and just re replace the image. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it as it is. And also when it comes to the text, you can feel free to re uh, replace them from here. So just go ahead and click on any text you want to change and type in whatever you want in here. And then we also have the form, which is going to have the email uh, section. If you want to add another field, feel free to do so. Just click on add field. For example, if you wanted to do short text, so for example, name and so on, you can just go ahead and select it from there and create it. So submit button is going to submit uh, the uh, message here for us and for the email notification, spam protection and appearance, all these things you will need to actually set up. So take your time with it, set up the entire thing as you would like it to be. And then we can also go to, for the layout and change how it looks like. So once you're done with the entire setup, you just want to click on publish at the top right. And it's just going to show us the plans here. So feel free to pause the video and see which one is going to suit you best and go for it. Now, if you have like 200 views on your site and you only want to use one pop-up uh, widget, then you're good to go pretty much. But, you know, if you want to upgrade, feel free to do so as well. In my case, I'm just going to select the free one and click on select. And basically, we just want to copy this code now. So just go in and copy code and go back to your Shopify. You're pretty much done from here. So now that we have this done, we can just go ahead and click on customize next to our theme. And we basically want to add custom liquid and add that code in it. So I'm just going to go to the template section from the home page and click on add section. Custom liquid. Click on custom liquid and insert the code right over here. And we are pretty much done. We can just go ahead and click on save. And we're good to go. So let's just go ahead and test it out real quick. We can just go ahead and click on view your online site. And we have our pop up right away. We can just add our email and we can just submit it. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.